kind of man and one you'd like to know he seems to make a mark everywhere he goes he's had a bumpy road but man he ain't no fool mm -mm. if there's one thing he knows it's the essence of cool find his way around he's a man about town ain't nothing gonna get him down he's had a few bad breaks but he keeps on trying he always tells the truth lord except when he's lying then he knows clothes make the Think we'll ever get doctored? Adopted? Yeah. Hope so. Think we'll get adopted together? Sure, Marky. What if we don't? Don't talk like that. O'Malley's boys gotta stick together. Hey, Vinny. What's up, Fish? Get lost, Marky. <laughs> gotta make a break for it. There's no way, Fish. O'Malley always locks us in at night. But how? Never mind that. What about Marky? We gotta take Marky. No can do. He's too small. He'd get us busted, sure. But O'Malley's boys gotta stick together. This ain't the time for that, Vinny. Okay, Fish. But what do we do? Where will we go? We're gonna be just like Fast Daddy. That Fast Daddy's got the suit, don't he, Fish? Clothes make the man. Now listen up. Vinny? Hey, Vinny! Hey, Arabella. It's Fluffy. She's stuck again. Sure. I'll get her. You're a good guy, Vinny. Come on, Fluffy. <sighs> oh, Vinny! You're such a doll. See? Good as new. You're a hero, Vinny. Aw. Oh. I'm telling you, some lucky girl. Listen, uh, I gotta go. See you, Vinny. Psst. 
some lucky girl. What happened to you? You can't go looking like that. Sorry, fish. What have I told you, Vinny? Clothes make demand. Come on, we're supposed to be there at 8 a.m. shop. You got the bargaining points already? Right here, fish. Let's go. I'm sorry, fish. I guess I panicked. It'll be okay, fish. We'll get him next time. Just like Fast Eddie. You're not Fast Eddie. Why are you always talking about Fast Eddie, huh? Money. Women. Clothes. Clothes make the man, right? That's what you always said, fish. Fast Eddie ain't even around no more. Well, of course not, fish. He retired to Monte Carlo a long time ago. Just like we're gonna do. Oh, come on, fish. We'll be just like Fast Eddie someday. You'll see. So what now? We're gonna knock off a bank or what? Vinny, I feel like I can't trust you. What are you talking about, fish? You got no loyalty. Get in, fish. Fish? It's the way it's gotta be, Vinny. I'm loyal. I'll prove it. Vinny? Hey, Arabella. How's Fluffy? Fluffy died while you was in the Hooskow, Vinny. Oh. Sheesh, Vinny. What are you doing breaking the law? You ought to go to church. You know, think about your future. Maybe settle down. Oh, geez, Arabella. That ain't for me. You got a good heart, Vinny. It's just, your brain, it don't think so good. What are you gonna do, Vinny? Don't you worry about me. I got plans. You got plans? Yeah. Big plans. Yeah? Yeah, you'll see. That's good, Vinny. You're a good guy. You know, I always said that. Yeah. You always did. Well, uh, I well, should... Uh... I, I should get back to work. Thank you. 
Vinny? Fish? Fish, wait! Get lost, Vinny. What did I tell you? But Fish, it's fate. Fish, wait up! Come on, get lost, will you? What are you doing with this? Hey, that's a nice suit, by the way. You like it? Clothes make the man. Thanks, Fish. Look, I gotta get out of here. Go on, Vinny. Copy of that security footage? All loaded. Let's take a look at it. Now? Wait, is that fish? What's that? Fish. You know, fish cramp. Guy always bumps around with Vinny Gambini. Gambini? Are you sure he said there was only one perpetrator? I am sure. Only one. It doesn't seem right. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Hey, what is it with this minivan? Uh, they asked me to break it in for a cover job. Break it in? It's at least 10 years old. I don't pick the assignments. Narcotics wants me to pose as a family man. Family man? You've been married three times. Shut up and drive. <laughs> Let's go. My money. Sorry, fish. You're sorry? You're sorry, all right. What are you, stupid? You see what you did? I'm telling you, Vinny, you got no loyalty. I can't trust you no more. I gotta get out of here. And don't you follow me, Vinny. You understand me? I'm telling you, we're through. I want the suit. The suit? The suit. This suit? The suit, Vinny, now. But I ain't really got any other clothes, Fish. You heard me, Vinny. You lost me my loot. I ain't walking away empty-handed. You owe me, Vinny. You owe me big. 
the soup, Vinny. Okay, fish. That's fair. I owe you. Whole suit. What? Clothes make the man, Vinny. That makes sense. What's that? I know it was fish crammed and hit that bank. So, why don't we haul him in for questioning? You don't understand. Fish crammed and Vinnie Gambini are like Siamese twins. They're inseparable. What are you, their mother? Who cares? I don't know. Doesn't make sense. What's with this guy? What are you doing? Here. Nail him. Do you think we should? Come on, man, nail him! That was a bullseye, nice! I take care of the bathroom. The toilet's been acting up again. 
The parsonage looks great. I'm sure Pastor Kirby's gonna love it. Bud, when do you think we can get the new pastor's office painted? Well, I can get to her by next Monday, I'd say. <sighs> looks terrible. I'm sure the new pastor will understand. We're in the middle of construction. I guess it'll have to do. I told you that toilet needs fixing. Well, can we get it fixed before Pastor Kirby arrives? Leave it to me, Mallory. <sighs> Buddy, you are such a godsend. Pastor? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your prayer. We didn't expect you to arrive before Thursday. I'm, uh, punctual. I'm Mallory Ball. We spoke on the phone. Several times. Right. Yeah. Bye. Hey, bud. Did you have a nice trip? Uh, you could say it was a little bumpy. Do you have your luggage? Um, it kind of got lost. Lost? You might say it wound up on the wrong truck. Well, let's give Pastor a little time. Sure. But if you could get Pastor Kirby acclimated to the parsonage, tomorrow morning we'll go over things. Things? Right. Things. Okay. Uh, Pastor? Huh? If you don't mind my asking, where are your pants? Well, it's, uh, kind of a long story. They get on the wrong truck, too? Well, uh, they wound up in the wrong hands, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, come on. Follow me. Terrible thing about Pastor Ferguson. Um. Oh, well, he must have heard. Oh, right. Uh, terrible thing. I mean, here's the thing. A fella embezzles a bunch of money. Embezzle? Ain't that stealing? <laughs> yeah, that'd be stealing. I gotta tell you, it was tough on Mallory. Yeah? Well, yeah. Church secretary? Taken in by this pastor? <laughs> Swindler, really. What a jerk. And to make matters worse, he runs off with our administrator. Ugh. Yeah, but I'll tell you, by God's grace, Mallory's risen to the challenge. I mean, can you imagine? 
she was Pastor Ferguson's right arm. <laughs> Boy, he really took her for a ride. I'd have hung him out to dry for that. Yeah. Well, they, 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 they kind of did. Thought you knew that. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Don't want to be speaking out of school. Yeah, you can't be too careful what you say. Yeah, it's a fair point, Pastor. I mean, here's what I'm saying. The Lord can forgive all that, you know? The fellow made a mistake. Mistake? Well, yeah. Stealing. The Lord forgives you for that? <laughs> You're playing me, Pastor. I kind of like you. Well, here you go. That should do you till you get your stuff back. Uh, go ahead and settle in. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. Oh, no. Thank you, Pastor Kirby. Think you're gonna like it around here. Hey. We gotta go case the scene on 24. Yeah. What, are you still on the bank heist? Look, as soon as they analyze the security hey, footage... You don't understand. I know that was fish. And I care why. Captain sees you obsessing with this thing, he's gonna have you out there walking the beat. Well, at least we gotta look into it a little more. Huh? Come on, we got work to do. Good morning, Pastor. I trust you slept well? Oh, in the pasture? The parsonage? Yeah, yeah, parsonage, right. Widow Johnson isn't doing too well, so you're gonna wanna stop at the rest home. The Millers just had their baby boy. I can send the card, but I need you to sign it. These are the connection cards from the past three weeks visitors who are interested in membership. I'll schedule you to meet with them. This paper is for you to take to the bank and have your name assigned to our church's bank accounts. Accounts. You'll be in charge of the building fund, which as you can see here is an escrow account, separate from the main account. Petty cash is in here. Here's the drawer key. We'll meet with the contractors at one o'clock. Contractors? For the building expansion project. You reviewed the plan I sent. Plan? Oh yeah. Pastor, can I be frank? You can be whoever you want, Mallory. Pastor Ferguson's abrupt removal was... It was very damaging. Yeah? We can't afford any more setbacks. No. If we don't secure the balance of the funding in 10 days, we'll be in default. Yeah? We can't let that happen. No. I mean, after all our church has been through, we need a leader with your credentials and your reputation for integrity. Yeah? Well, that's all I wanted to say. Oh, one more thing. I have a counseling session scheduled. Counseling? His name's Cole. He's a good kid. He's just troubled. Troubled? Well, he was orphaned when he was eight years old. Orphaned? And shuffled from one foster home to the next. I mean, he's not a bad kid. Nah. I bet he just got some lousy breaks, that's all. Exactly. And he's gotten into some trouble with the law. I just... I hate to see him go down that road, you know? So do you think you could talk to him? Sure, Mallory. I'll talk to him. Thanks, Pastor. He's waiting out front. So, uh, are you cold? Hey, I'm talking to you. you. Got yourself in a little trouble, did you? What'd you do? Okay. All right, punk, tell me what you did, or I'm gonna bust your chops 
and knock them clear in the next Tuesday. You got me? Right. I busted for shoplifting. Shoplifting? What are you, some kind of sissy? I'm sorry, what? For crying out loud, kid. If you're gonna steal, make it count. I don't... You've done that before. A couple times. Ah. Uh, it's no big deal. What? What do you mean? What are you, stupid or something? You're off the hook, Cole. The Lord forgives you for stealing. Says so in the uh, that there Bible. That's it. Out of jail free car. Now you quit running with the wrong crowd, see? Or I'm gonna have to hurt you. <laughs> Pastor, do we meet somewhere before? I don't think so. Authorities remain perplexed in the wake of yet another downtown bank robbery Monday morning. Police report two individuals are being sought for questioning in connection with the heist, in which a lone gunman reportedly made off with nearly $40,000 in cash, disappearing oh, without Pastor. a trace before police could arrive on the... The contractor will be here in just a few minutes. Oh, hey. Can you believe the stuff they're putting on television nowadays? This is where our youth are gonna hang out. I say lose the TV. Am I right? Sure. I'm all for it. Good. That's real good. By the way, Pastor, thanks again for what you did for Cole. Huh? The little time you spent with him made a really big difference. Just doing my job. I think Cole just needs a father figure in his life. Talking about Cole? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a real change in attitude. He even offered to help me clean up. I tell you, the Lord's doing some amazing things through our new pastor. The fear of God can do wonders. Amen. Uh, hey, pastor, any chance you could give me a hand in the fellowship hall? Well, can you wait like 30 minutes? We have to go meet the contractor. Yeah, I'll be praying for that. As soon as we get the permits approved, we should be able to break ground. Theoretically. Theoretically? There is the matter of the down payment. It's important that we get that taken care of so that we can move forward. It should all be in place in just a couple days. Couple days. I'm confident that we can get you paid very shortly. Uh, yeah, real, real shortly. We just want to be sure. Oh, we're real sure, ain't we, Mallory? Of course. If you would just sign. Looking forward to doing business with you. Pastor, nice to meet you. We have got to get that loan approval. Can you have me that other bowl? Yeah, thanks. I've heard good things about you preaching, Pastor. Looking forward to hearing it tomorrow. Preaching? Tomorrow? Yeah, every Wednesday. Like a sermon? Well, yeah, more or less. I suppose since it's Wednesday, you could probably get by with a homily. Homily? 
Which one's shorter? <laughs> I like a pastor with a sense of humor. Thanks for your help. Pastor, you have a couple in your office? Couple of what? They have an appointment for premarital counseling. More counseling? Hey, Pastor. All right. I ain't got all day. So why you want to get married? All right, forget it then. What? What, are you stupid or something? If you two can't tell me why you want to get married, I don't think you should. We, we love each other. It's going to take a lot more than fuzzy wuzzies to build a life. That's all you got? I ain't going to marry you. You two lovebirds think about that and come back when you can give me an answer to one simple question. There's the door. Would you mind shutting the door, please? <laughs> Baby. I'm telling you, Don. I don't know where he is. That ain't good enough, Fish. I want my money. I'll get your money. It's my money, too. That ain't all I want, Fish. I want Vinny Gambini. What now? Yeah. Hey, Pastor. Sorry to bother you. We've decided you're right. Huh? We do love each other. Very much. That's good. The first step is realizing you got a problem. Right. We agree. I'm glad you can admit it. We're going to make a detailed plan. Financial goals. How many kids we'd like. We found this complete pre-marriage inventory in the church library. Thank you, Pastor. It was nothing. So, can we go ahead with the counseling session? Ah, forget about it. I think you two will do just fine. You're good. Really. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, thanks. Off you go now. Wow. I love our new pastor. I know. God's given him amazing wisdom. This place is a zoo. Yeah? Pastor, I just happen to have a thought. A thought? Well, I happened to be passing your office while you were counseling those kids. Maybe next time you could add an encouraging scripture from the Bible and, and pray with them before you sent them on their way. Just a thought. That's a good idea. Well, hey, if you don't mind, I need to clean your office. That's okay, I'm ready to call it a day. I'll be stopping in later to look at that toilet that's been acting up. I didn't find anything. What, the bank heist again? Take a look at this photo. So, we got a report. Somebody saw two perps hopping into the back of a truck. This traffic shot matches the timeline perfectly. I think we might have found our boys. Our boys? Yeah. Fish and Vinny. All I see is a truck. Are you not getting this? They're in the back of the truck. So's Bigfoot. Come on. I I'm being serious here. Hey, did you run the plates? Yeah. 
It's a company car, a company vehicle. What company? A church. What? Oh, hey, Pastor? Yeah? I just want to take a look at that toilet. Yeah, okay. Hey, bud. Can I ask you a question? Sure thing, Pastor. Ah, uh, you... You'll think it's silly. Try me. It's kind of hard to explain, see. What with me being new here, it's kind of got me thinking about my, uh, life, you might say. Mm-hmm. When I was a kid, see, I had this hero. Mm hmm. Gotta have heroes. This guy's name was Fast Daddy McKenzie. Mm-hmm. He was a bank robber, actually. He was your <laughs> hero? Well, I was a kid, see, and I always wanted to be somebody. Well, that's perfectly natural. You know, I wasn't always a great pastor, you see. Not that I wouldn't, didn't want to be. Well, you guys kind of got me feeling like I'm somebody. Well, uh, glad we could help. I'll, I'll let myself out. Thanks, bud. Got it. Nothing but a ball here. Well, hey, I, I better get back to work. Yeah, sure, no problem, bud. Okay, Cole. This is the Hail Mary. I'll get it. Thanks, Cole. Thank you. 
delicious money. Pastor, our credit extension has been denied. What about the building project? Well, it's looking bleak. And if we can't get that credit extension, we can't pay our contractors. Well, that ain't right. How am I gonna get that money? I mean, we, the church. Well, God's in control. And he has a plan, right? I'm just really thankful that you're here with us. Me? Yeah. Ever since you've arrived, I've just... I've had this feeling that God's going to do something really unexpected. Yeah. Mallory? Yeah. What is it? I, uh, I need your advice on something. Me? How can I help? I got this friend. See, he's not exactly all he seems. You mean his life lacks authenticity? Yeah, that's it. Authenticity. How would you feel about that? Well, I suppose it's pretty important to be true to who you are. But. What if being who you are ain't so good? I'm just taking a stab here, Pastor. But it seems to me that maybe your friend just needs some understanding. Yeah. Understanding. If that helps. I should get back to work. Yeah, sure. Better not be a wild goose chase. Ah, oh, come on. Can I help you? Police? Ma'am, we're sorry to bother you, but we're investigating a report. I'm sure you're aware of a bank robbery that happened a couple of days ago. Yeah, I, I heard about it. A witness reported seeing a truck that... Does this vehicle look familiar to you? Yeah, it, it looks like our Is truck. that vehicle here now? We'd like to take a look at it, if you don't mind. Officers, Bud isn't here right now. He's probably gone to get some supplies. Bud? Who's that? He maintains the church and the grounds. Can I get your name, ma'am? Gentlemen, our evening service begins shortly, and Bud isn't here right now. So if you'd like to come back at another time... Listen, lady, just, just answer the... Ma'am. A truck resembling yours was witnessed in connection with this robbery. Now, it's probably nothing, but... We'd be happy to come back. Bud will be here tomorrow. Thank you. Starts in five minutes. Good evening. It's an exciting time in the life of our church family. Tonight we can introduce to you our new pastor, Pastor Kirby. Let's give him a warm welcome. <laughs> pastor Kirby will be bringing a message tonight that I'm sure will challenge all of us. But first, I'd like to acknowledge another guest who has a few words that he would like to share with us. Mayor Willis Bradford. Ah, uh, thank you. 
thank you for that warm welcome. I don't need to take a lot of your time here tonight. Uh, the work of this church is dear to my heart. Mallory has shared with me and with the entire pastoral association the challenges faced by your church. I want to encourage y'all. There are many differences in our various nominations, but we share a common belief in the redeeming work of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are one family. I can assure you that the good work of this church has not gone unnoticed in our community. Our pastoral association has agreed unanimously not only to hold your church up in prayer, but also to ask for special offerings at our various churches. We hope this can provide some assistance in these uncertain times. Again, thank you for the good work that you do in our community. Wow, can I get an amen? Amen. I think I can say on behalf of our entire church, thank you so much, Mayor Bradford. Pastor Kirby? Um, and that's about it. say that they feel that their faith was really stretched by Pastor Kirby's message. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a stretch. I feel like we're really witnessing a move of God's Spirit. Yeah, we, uh, we witnessed something, that's for sure. Is this what we can expect from our new pastor? Uh, I'll let you ladies chat. You enjoyed it? Why, it made no sense at all. It's as if he opened the Bible randomly. Well, I'm sure Now, I've never been one to have a closed mind. Of course I not. mean, I give a great deal to this church. And we greatly appreciate it. some things get straightened up around here, well, they just better. Bud, do you realize how much she gives every month? Should I talk to Pastor Kirby? Just give it a little time. I suppose. Thanks, bud. Say, where is Pastor? I gotta get out of here. Yeah? Arabella? It's Finny. Finny! Oh, I've been worried sick about you. Where are you at? I'm, uh, at church. Church? Well, okay, that's, that's good, Vinny. That's, that's real good. What church? Oh, I should know that. Look, I gotta get out of here. But I got no car. You gotta help me. Vinny, you can't come here. Uh, there's, there's cops all over the place, and I think they're watching me too. It's been all over the news. What do I do? Listen, you stay put, Vinny. Give me the address, and I'll see what I can do. All right, but I gotta do something quick. Just give me a little time, Vinny. What's the address? 316 East 3rd Street, Warren. All right, I should go. They might even have the phones bugged. All right, Arabella. Thanks.
Okay, well, I hope you feel better. Okay, bye. Mayor! Mallard? Well, you ain't gonna believe it. My could be your prayers have been answered. How's that? Got word right early this morning from the Pastoral Association. Morning, Pastor. Oh, good morning. Well, anyways, had to take the armored car over. Seems some 33 churches come together for that special offering. That's incredible. You can see what happened. That's the offering. Might be more than 70,000, Mallory. Dollars? Still got to counter up, though. Guess you can do the honor there, Pastor. Sure. Yeah, I can count. We have to tell Bud the news. Oh, Pastor, Bud called in sick this morning, so you might want to go visit him. Uh, you might want to attend to this first. Of course. Bless you. Thank you so much, Mayor. Oh, it ain't no thing. We just want to see you keep doing the good work you've been doing. Pastor Kirby? Vinny? Is that you? Fish? Ah, oh, Vinny, how you doing, old pal? Pal? Well, sure. I mean, you, you didn't think I was gonna hold a grudge now, did you? Fish! You're not gonna believe this. What's that, buddy? The briefcase! The briefcase? Yeah! I found it! You found it? Yeah, I got it, Fish. You found my briefcase? Yeah, I got it, Fish. Well, that's good, Vinny. That's real good. But there's more fish. We hit the mother load. What are you talking about? See, I'm at this here church. And they made me the pastor, see? And there's like thousands and thousands. Thousands? I told you, Fish. We hit the big time. Just like Fast Daddy. Yeah, Vinny, that's right. Just like Fast Eddie. Hey, I always knew you'd come through because you're loyal, Vinny. Yeah, just like I always said. But I gotta get out of here, Fish. The cops have been coming around. Stay put and I'll come see you. What do we do, Fish? Just trust me, because I got a plan. You got a plan? Yeah. You just stay put. Okay, fish. Whatever you say. Hey, how'd you find me, fish? Never mind that. I gotta go. You stay put, all right? Pastor, can we talk? Yeah, uh, come on in. So what's up? It's just... Come on, kid. Can't be all that. They keep putting me in one stupid foster home after another. And these people don't even care. They just do it for the money. Then when I do one thing wrong, they send me to another one, and half the time, they're way worse than me. And it's not my fault I was an orphan. I just don't see how they can keep treating me like this. What happened? Brandon got busted again. So what? So, I was kinda there. What do you mean you was kinda there? I didn't know he was gonna bust into the house and steal stuff. Let me get this straight. You was hanging with Brandon again? Cole, don't you get it? You hang around with people that want you to do bad stuff. In the eyes of the law, that makes you bad too. What is he? Tell you gonna be some kind of hero if you steal? Huh? Is that what he does? Anybody who tries to tell you to do bad stuff is not your friend. Are you listening to me? Anybody 
who tells you you're gonna be a hero for stealing. Ain't come. Your friend. They're gonna send me to a home. What are you talking about? A group home in Indianapolis. Indianapolis? Why? That's the closest facility. There's gotta be another foster family. There's not. That ain't right. You got a family right here. Pastor Kirby, please come to the fellowship hall. Look, kid. Go keep yourself busy. We'll finish this later. Pastor Kirby, there's someone I'd really like you to meet. Pastor, this is Mr. Bass. Mr. Bass is with the City Commission. He's going to help with the projected costs of the utilities and taxes for the addition. Say, uh, that's a really nice suit. He's got good taste, Mallory. Clothes make the man. Yeah, ain't that the truth? That's the truth. Mr. Bass, could you excuse Ms. Ball and me for a sec? We got a little church business. Um. It'll only take a minute. Did you know about Cole? Uh, of course. But how can they just toss him around like that? Don't they know we want him here? Pastor, things like that happen all the time with kids like Cole. Don't you see? That's why this addition is so important. What are you talking about? Pastor, if we get the funding to build the orphanage and the youth center... Orphanage? That's what the addition is for? I, I, I thought you knew that. Look, I ain't so good on details, all right? If we can get this funding... We can give kids like Cole the kind of security that he's been lacking. You're darn right we're gonna build it. Cole don't need the kind of upbringing I had. You were an orphan? You ain't right. Pastor, I never knew. Yeah, Will. I don't like to talk about it too much. <laughs> it's just like I said, Pastor. God brought you here for a reason. And I can already see how he's using you in Cole's life, and I can't believe that the Lord would let anything hinder that. Well, we've got to be practical. What's the tally from the offering? Over 75 G's. G's? A thousand. Well, that's a miracle. But that still puts us short about 50,000. But surely the bank would loan us that much. You've got to get the rest, Mallory. I'll see what I can do. Maybe Mr. Bass can help us see where we can cut a few corners. You go see the bank and I'll handle Mr. Bass. Oh, Mr. Bass? Trust me, I know his type. Right this way? changed my mind. <laughs> what do you mean you uh, changed your mind? About stealing the money. Come again? I can't do it, Fish. What are you talking about, Vinny? We had a deal. I just can't do it to him, Fish. It just ain't right. 
Hey, right? What are you, Andy Griffith now? I can't do it, Fish. I ain't playing games, Vinny. Look, Fish. I'll give you your money, all right? You're not gonna believe this. What? Your bank heist? What about it? Some good Samaritan turned in the money. What? Apparently, there was a note, and it said, the Lord made me turn it in. <laughs> and that's not the best part. What do you mean? We got a possible description on what the hero was driving. So what, I got a guess? It's the same truck that's in your picture. I'm going back to that church. If Gambini is involved, I owe you lunch. If Gambini is involved, you owe me lunches for a week. <laughs> I swear the money was here. It was right here. I should have let Donnie O pop you off. Donnie O wants to pop me off? I want my money now. Anybody who tells you you'll be a hero for stealing ain't your friend. I'm sorry, Fish. Why you? Pastor? It's Bud. What? What's wrong, Bud? He's not answering his phone. I'm so sorry, Mr. Bass. I understand completely. I haven't heard from him since he called in sick this morning. It's not like him to not pick up. I'm just worried that something might have happened. Fish? I'm sorry. We're gonna have to finish this later. Anybody here? Hello? Weird. Damn. Truck's missing, church is empty. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna make a pit stop. Pull in, I'll see you back at the station in about 20 minutes.
Can I help you? Nah. I got it. Yeah, I'm not really a car guy. Things always acting up. Where are you headed? Out of town. <laughs> Bad timing. You don't know the half of it. You know, if it was me, I, I'd jump in and give it another try. Look, pal. Fish? I'm telling you, you got the wrong guy. Yeah, right. Fish, you and me are going downtown and have ourselves a little talk. Hospital. No, no. No hospital. We gotta get you some help. Listen. I'm here, bud. Not a lot of time. What are you talking about, bud? You're gonna be fine. Listen to me. All right, bud. I'm listening. Don't give up on Cole. He's a good kid. All right. Promise me you'll do the right thing for once. Okay, bud. I promise. You have a chance, Vinny. What? Don't waste your life like I did. How did you know? <coughs> Don't you worry about that. It's my name you ought to be worried about. I don't get it, bud. Name's not bud. It's Ed. Ed McKenzie. Ed McKenzie? Eddie? Fast Eddie? <laughs> they said you went to Monte Carlo. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted him to think. You see? I met somebody. Met somebody? Who changed my life. Who? Jesus. That's why I had to turn in the money. You you turned in the money? I had to. I guess so. It's our little secret, eh, Vinny? Look what Jesus can do. What can he do for me, bud? Psalm 68, Vinny. Psalm 68? Okay, bud. Psalms, where is that? It's in the middle. Starts with a P. Psalm 68, I got it right here. Verses four, five, six. Okay, four, five, and six, huh? I got it here. Sing to God. That's it. Read it. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Lift up a song for him who rides through the desert 
whose name is the Lord, and exalt before him. Father of the fatherless, and a judge for the widow. Father for the fatherless? Yeah. Like me? Like Cole? There's more. Father of the fatherless and a judge for the widows and his holy habitation. Who's the habitation, bud? Home, Vinny. Keep going. God makes a home for the lonely. He leads the prisoners into prosperity? He can't do that for me, bud. I've done time. How can he do that? How? God the Father. Yeah? He's going to judge you. But Jesus. Jesus? He's your liar. What? You see, your liar is the judge's son. And he's never lost a case. Huh. I like that, bud. I like that. He did it for me, Vinny. He can do it for you. Yeah? You got a family now. Family? God loves you, Vinny. So do I. He knows your heart, Vinny. And God's got all the time in the world. But 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 Come on, not now. But No. <laughs> Come on, bud. I only knew Bud for a short time. He was a real friend to me. A real friend. He gave me good advice and he helped me get over some rough spots. The truth is, he knew stuff about me that I ain't never shared with nobody. He took loyalty serious. Real serious. I learned a few things about Bud that really opened my eyes to the kind of changes God can make in someone's life. He made me believe I could change, that I could be a better person. I owe Bud. I owe him big. Mr. Gambini? Look, I, uh... Mr. Gambini, I need you to step down and come with me. Can we just show a little respect here? Uh, Mr. Gambini, you're gonna have to come with me, or I'm gonna have to arrest you. Gambini, what's he talking about? Look, uh... Officer, what is the meaning of this? Ma'am, your Pastor Kirby is not Pastor Kirby. I don't understand, sir. 
He's wanted for bank robbery and most recently plotting to run off with your church's building fund. I can't believe it. You better believe it. Listen, it's true. I'm a fake. My name is Vinny Gambini. I've done time for stealing. I've done some stuff I'm real sorry for. Cole, wait a minute. You lied to us, Pastor. Gamboni or whatever your name is. Sir, you're gonna have to come with me now or I'm gonna have to put you in cuffs. Mallory, I'm sorry, I... I think you need to leave. Got yourself in a spot, Anthony. You don't have to be here, you know. What do you mean? You're not like fish, Vinny. You're better than that. You always were. You should have ditched that guy years ago. I've been keeping an eye on you for a long time, Vinny. Mally's boys gotta watch out for each other. Marky! Marky! Hey, Marky! It's great to see you! It sure is, Vinny. I, I guess I didn't look after you too good. Nah. You did me a favor. How's that? A week after you two bozos cut out, I got adopted. That's swell, Marky. They treated me good. Took me to church. Taught me right. It was a real family, Vinny. A real family. I guess I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have listened to fish. Look, Vinny. I want you to follow me. I don't get it, Marky. What are we doing here? It's history, Vinny. History of our town. And we want our town to be safe for the people we care about. Am I right? Yeah. All right. So let's talk about you. You got a pretty long rap sheet, you know. Yeah. And I got to tell you, Vinny, we don't want this to continue. No. You were at that bank robbery a few days ago, weren't you? Yeah. But you never actually held up the bank or stole anything. N no. Although you did help fish. Y yeah. Right. Okay. Now.
as far as this pastor thing goes, I think we can both agree that you shouldn't have done that. No. But regardless, imitating another party is not a felony unless harm to the imitated party can be demonstrated. Yeah? Let's find out. Pastor? Pastor Kirby? Vinny Gambini. Mr. Gambini? Oh, Pastor, uh, sorry about the, uh, mix-up. Pastor, do you feel that you were in any way harmed by Mr. Gambini's little, uh, escapade? Oh, I don't think so, officer. Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's continue. And I want to go off the record, Vinny, okay? Yeah. So you weren't really going to rob that church, were you? No. Yeah. All right. We're back on the record. You didn't actually ever steal anything from that church, did you? No. Because you know Fish is going to do some serious time for that. Yeah? Yeah. But in your case, I think you can see my dilemma. Yeah. Um, no. Not really, Mark. Uh, I'm actually pretty confused right now. For the moment, we don't plan to indict you. But I think you agree we could hold you for a good long time. And with a little bit of effort, I'm pretty sure I could charge you with maybe, what, a dozen crimes? Am I right? Yeah. But we don't want to do that, do we, Vinny? No. And the reason we don't want to do that... Because we have it on good authority that in your heart, you're a decent guy who wants to clean up his act. So we're going to make a deal. And if you don't want to spend a long time in a break, you're going to accept this deal. Listen to the officer, Vinny. You're going to do 180 days of community service. That's six months. And you're going to keep your nose clean. Yeah. Now, based on your benefactor's personal advocacy, and against the better judgment of my superiors, I'm going to release you into protective custody. Mallory? Vinny. My decision to release you was based largely on the testimony of this young lady. But I... But I lied to you. Oh, shut up, Vinny. Yeah, spare us, Vinny. This ain't a movie. Now you're going to do your community service at the church. But I can't be pastor. What am I going to do? Well, you always wanted to be like Fast Eddie, right? Hey, looking good. Gee, thanks. Hey, uh, how's Cole's new foster family working out? See for yourself. I want you back by 4 o'clock, understood? Got it. Hey, Vinny. Gee, that's swell. The Chandlers also donated the funds we needed to complete the addition. That's great for Cole being an orphan and all. Well, not really. What do you mean? He's only an orphan for another three weeks. What, are they gonna knock him off? They're going to adopt him. By the way, you have a visitor. Arabella? Hey, Vinny. Hey, Vinny, are you 
going to be able to come to the youth rally? No can do, Mallory. I got plans. You got plans? Yeah. Big plans. kind of guy who needed time to shine that's cause his heart of gold was ticking out of time he had a bumpy road that took him off the track but old Vinny's been to school looks like our boy is back Jack! Sound. He ran things in the ground He's a man about town He was lost but now he's found He got a few lousy breaks but he kept on trying He always tells the truth, Lord he's given up 